Hey everybody, welcome to this wonderful Mountain Moving Monday. It's your boy, Prince Onyx. Decided to take off the glasses for this, because I, I get tired of that glare. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get into it. So this is not really a random video, because it's been on my mind for about a week. I just was, I guess, really, it was me finding the time to actually record it and talk about it. So pretty much, um... What I'm what I'm basically gonna ask and talk about in this video is you know when it comes to films and television shows, but mainly films um, that are that are predominantly black that are predominantly black or you know Hispanic, yeah, or you know when it comes to films that are predominantly you know people of color, black, Hispanic, you know African American, Hispanic. Asian, you know, whichever the race is, and you know, are they not as marketable to mainstream America, or, you know, are they just not as marketable in general? What I mean by that is that, okay, like, for example, on Netflix, I found so many um, good films. Yes, the majority of them are, are what you would consider black films. And the reason why I put quotations around black films is because, you know, I feel that that label is really pointless because when it comes to films that have predominantly white people, you don't call it a white film. So why call a film that has predominantly a black cast a black film? It's pretty it's pretty stupid to me. It's pretty benign and kind of and really useless and pointless to me. Um. But yeah, I found a lot of movies on um on Netflix that I added to my list of, you know, movies to watch or whatever. And, you know, there are for the most part they all have African American leads, whether male or female. Um, you know, with the exception of they have like, you know, some uh white actors and actresses, Hispanic people. They have, you know, different a different different mix of people. But, you know, when I look at the ratings, because you know how Netflix has, like, the ratings of what the movies have? Like, some of them, if not, well, really kind of most of them, would have, like, two stars, three stars, four stars, and stuff like that. And I was talking to my friend, one of my friends, and she was saying that maybe the, um, that rating is from people not watching those movies as much. And so I thought about that as a factor as to why those ratings are there. Because then it's like also on uh, on the Internet Movie Database, IMDB for short, you know, I just find it interesting that the ratings for, you know, films that have ma the predominantly black uh, leads, they kind of, they get like less, less, you know, highly rated reviews and ratings versus a film or even a TV show for that matter that has predominantly white people. So it's like, you know, really it begs the question of, you know, are black, are black films and films with people of color not as marketable to mainstream America? Because when you think about it, you know, in, a, in, in different advertisements, they like, for example, the Coca-Cola advertisement that they had running, I think, last year into early this year. They were, you know, promoting how America is diverse and it's a melting pot and, you know, it's all these different... Uh, ethnic back, ethnic backgrounds and cultures all mixed in, all you know, blended and stuff like that. Like it's like a big, you know, a big melting pot. You know, this is where all the different races are. You know, black, white, Asian, um, Hispanic. You know, and it's just like I, I don't know. It just really, it just really, it's something that I think about very often. Like when I go to the movies, for example, like it's just something that you know I. I apologize a little bit for this video being all over the place, but really it just begs the question of like, you know, what is it? Like, is mainstream America not ready for these type of films? Like, bitch, it's like been 40, 50, 60 years, like, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe this, it's not really a rant, but it's just like a, it's just really, I just want to know. Like, is there a problem with movies that have black leads or Hispanic leads or, hell, Asian leads? Do, does mainstream America say, oh, no, we're not ready for that? You know, really the question is, is white mainstream America not ready for those type of films? Because, you know, when you look at it, they're kind of the majority of moviegoers. I mean, I'm sure that I think black people come second to them, and then you have, 
But then again, I think Hispanics are kind of almost, I think Hispanic African Americans are almost like at a, at a close, at a close um, standstill when it comes to moviegoers. I'm going to have to check the, you know what, while I'm doing this video, because see, it's funny how I'm doing this video now, and now I'm thinking of, hold on, I'm now thinking of all this stuff of movie. Oh, there we go, right there. All right, this is what I'm reading right now is the theoretical market statistics from 2012. Hmm. Okay, well, that's just telling me that. Okay, um. Okay. Mm. Mm. They ain't giving me what I want, y'all. Well, not what I want, but they... Uh, it's not showing me what I'm looking for. You know what? I'm going to have to... Let's go somewhere else. Okay, maybe this is it. Hollywood Demographics. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're just giving me the ages. What about the demographics as far as, like, race? Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, right here. Okay, this is kind of, this is like three to four years old. Okay, so it says for tickets sold by ethnicity back in 2011, the ethnicity for white for tickets sold was 58% and the percent of the population, 65%. Hispanic was 22% and percent of the population, 16%. Blacks, it was actually 11% and pop, uh, percent of population 12% and the other is 9% was not was 9% in 2011 for tickets sold, that was 9% for the other and percent of population is 7%. So, I was actually wrong. Um, it's actually Hispanics that are second and then blacks are third when it comes to being moviegoers. So, you know, it's just because uh, cause really this conversation, this conversation can really go everywhere. And it's like, oh, mind y'all, y'all, when I'm looking down, I'm not even looking at nothing really. It's just looking at the keyboard or the laptop because I'm like thinking or whatever. But yeah, this, um, yeah, this conversation can really go any and everywhere. And I might have to make this up, make this, you know, a one part, two part, whatever. And yeah, but um, yeah, it's just, you know, I remember, okay, I watched this video from Madame Noir. It was Alfonso. I forgot his last name. He's an actor. He is on, he is on that one show. I think it's Criminal Minds. I think, yeah, I think that's the show. I think. Anyway, it's one of them shows, y'all. Y'all can look it up yourselves. But anyway, I might just put the link in the, in the description. I'll put the link in the description box of that video that I'm about to basically give you a synopsis of. In the video, Alfonso was saying that, you know, black people, we need to support black Hollywood, and, you know, we need to support our brothers and sisters, pretty much. Now, you know what, let me just, let me just put this out in the air. Niggas, if you gonna come to my video with bullshit, yes, you niggas, take your ass somewhere else, move along, get, get off the sidewalk, get off the street, take your ass in the house, because you're blocking traffic. No one needs you here, so niggas, be warned. Anyway, this ain't about y'all. Moving, moving quickly and in a hurry. Um. Anyway, yeah. So just you know, support Black Hollywood. Support our pretty much you know support our brothers and sisters. Like and like, don't support the bootleggers. If you you know want to buy this, if you want to buy this movie, you know what? If you if you have the money, because he was saying that you know pay. He was in the video. He was saying pay that extra five dollars. I'm saying if you have the money, because money isn't easy to come across nowadays, but if you have a little extra money and you, you know, want to get a movie, go to Walmart, Target, hell, really Walmart or Best Buy, no shade to Target, but the price is, you know, whew, no thank you. Anyway, you know, go to Walmart or Best Buy, um, you know, shop online on Amazon, you know, go to different places where the price is okay and, you know, pay the little extra shipping and get that stuff done, get it. 
you know, get it taken care of. You know, if you really want to buy these movies, like support our young, support our brothers and sisters. Because, you know what y'all, let's be honest, we are all that we got. Now, I'm not trying to turn this video into a race uh, discussion or debate, but it's true. We are all that we got. So, let's, you know, support our brothers and sisters. It doesn't hurt. You know, and I don't want to hear, and then again, you know what? I am not going to say that, but you know what? To those specific group of people who will not be named, this is a warning for you, too. Don't come on this video with that bullshit about, oh, I'm not going to support black Hollywood. No one gives a fuck about your opinion, just to let you know. No one cares. No one really cares about your opinion. But this ain't about those... This ain't about them niggas, okay? Because they niggas, too. They ain't, this ain't about them. Anyway, you know, yeah, so... It's just, you know, and I, it's like there's no problem with independent films either because, to be honest, when I look at this, when I look at this generation, we're pretty much, we are pretty much in the age of the independent film because a lot of independent films are getting picked up and, you know, brought to box office and, you know, really doing some good numbers. So, you know, because we got Beyond the Lights, for a good example, that was a terrific movie. I love it. Go see that. You got Dear White People. Those are like the two movies I can think of. Those are the two movies I can think of with black, with predominantly black cast, you know, that are that are doing wonderful. So, you know, that also goes into play. Is it the stories or is it the character? Like, you know, what is it that makes other black film, other black films not stand out as much and get put into the box office? You know what I mean? So, you know, oh, another one was, the I think, the James Brown movie was an independent one, and that got put into box office, I think. I'm not too sure. Y'all can, you know, do your research on that. But, yeah, I just really wanted to know, like, are black films not that, you know, are they not as marketable to mainstream America, specifically mainstream white America? Because as that statistic just showed that, you know, back in 2011, 58% of the tickets were sold to sold were were you know by ethnicity white and the percent of the population was 65 with Hispanics coming in at a at a 22% with the percentage of the population 16 with blacks at 11% for tickets sold and population percent 12 so you know damn like you know what I'm saying so, yeah, I mean, this probably will be a part of video, you know, one part, two part, or whatever. But, yeah, I just wanted to get you, get, you know, put this video out and get you guys' opinion. The next video will be uh, talking about reality shows. So, yeah, get ready. Yeah, get ready for that. But, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had a great start off to your week. And I hope that you guys are still having a terrific, wonderful Mountain Moving Monday. And uh, this is your boy, Prince Onyx, coming at you on. So yeah, have a great day you guys. See you in a few. Sayonara.